Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. Make no mistake about it. They are coming after these. They want our guns. This is what they're after. They want our guns. Doesn't matter what the Constitution says, the right to bear arms. They're going to do whatever it takes to disarm us. And you know what, my fellow Americans? They've won. They've already won without a shot being fired. And I'll tell you why. Because we the people are not united. We are not united. There are people that don't want me to have this. And they don't want you to have it either. They're saying there's no use for that. They think this is barbaric. There's no use for this. They don't want me to have this either. They don't want you to have it. And you see, my fellow Americans, I want you to picture what a revolution might really look like. We the people against the government, they're going to come in with armored vehicles, with hundreds, maybe thousands of men. They're going to come up to places like mine. And they'll just say, give us your guns. And I say, no. You know what they're going to do? Did you see what happened to Waco, Texas? Did you see what happened at Ruby Ridge? That's what's going to happen. And sooner or later, they're going to crush enough of us and the rest of the people will just give up. You know, first you wanted my assault rifle. Nobody stood up. Then you wanted my hunting rifle. Nobody stood up. Then you wanted my shotgun. Nobody stood up. Then you wanted my handgun. Then there were no guns left. My fellow Americans, today, December the 19th, the year 2012, we have to draw the line and say, no more. You are not taking our guns. But that won't happen. It won't. We the people are divided. There's just as many people that want to keep these as those who are saying there's no use for them. We've lost. Does that say that I'm going to give up my guns willingly? Hell no! They know how they'll take my guns. They'll pry them from my cold, dead fingers. And there's a lot of people that believe that. And, we'll, and that's the way it'll happen. But the thing is, after they pry those guns away from our cold, dead fingers, the rest of the people will surrender. They will bow down. Question is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because if they bring the fight to you, it's game over. I don't have a chance. They could send a drone over. Poof! They could come up here, maybe catch me when I'm sleeping, catch me when my back's turned, and then they'll just take me away, and then they'll show all my guns and other things and say, I'm a he was a prepper, he was a survivalist, he's a threat to the country. And many people will applaud, saying, good, one less. And then I'll be forgotten, just like the others. Not even a blip on the history. Not even a blip. No. It's over. But that doesn't mean we won't give it a try. We won't die trying. But we really don't have a chance. Who knows? Maybe we can push back. I doubt it. It's hard to get enough people to agree on something. And so long as we're divided, we're conquered. But maybe we can unite. Maybe there's enough of us who've stockpiled guns and ammo who can hold them off. I don't know. What do you think? I was listening to AM Talk Radio, like I said, Rush Limbaugh and a few others. And they were talking about 
the fiscal cliff and some other things. You know, what the shootings that have happened the past few days. Yes, they're tragedies. But they have nothing to do with me owning this weapon. Nothing at all. Or me owning this weapon or this weapon. They have nothing at all to do with this. But the problem is that there's people out there, call them brainwashed, call them whatever, they don't think I should have these. And you know what happens if only the police have weapons? Then we have a police state. We don't want that. The real question is, is what part of the Second Amendment don't they understand? They take an oath when they're sworn into office to uphold the Constitution. Yet, as soon as they get in there, they want to push it aside. They want to rewrite it. They want to edit it. They want to change it. Is that what we the people want? Of course not. At least not some of us. But then again, there's probably some who do. But, in these next coming weeks, years, months, Something's going to happen. Something big's going to happen. I can feel it. They're going to go for a gun grab. Obama just might do an executive order. To hell with the Constitution. To hell with Congress. He might just say, by executive order, you can't have these guns anymore. What are we going to do? What if there's a knock on the door? Uh, we know you have... Um, weapons that have high capacity magazines please turn them over and then of course your building is surrounded you're outgunned you're outmanned it's either give up or die it's either give me liberty or give me death are you willing to take that pledge give me liberty or give me death that's the question you must answer. You must answer that as an individual. You want to live on your knees? That's the choice you have. It's serious, folks. It really is. You know that I don't go on camera showing guns and talking about guns and all that. But it's to the point where I had to. That's how much the Second Amendment means to me, along with all the other amendments. And if somebody doesn't want to stand up, then what happens? We get rolled over. I don't know what it's going to take. I really don't. But they're going to try to take away these weapons. They can't have mine unless they pry them from my cold, dead fingers. America, wake up! Smell the tyranny!